Greetings everyone. This video is going to have more information about uh, entities and soulless ones. And I am going to put a warning on this video. This video is not going to be for the faint of heart and it's going to contain information that may confuse and cause distress to some viewers. So, I'm going to say right now, this is not a normal video and it's going to have information in it that you might prefer not knowing. So if that's the case, you're having your warning right now up front. Uh, you may want to not view this video until you check with your source self to see if it would benefit you to have the information contained within this video. And only watch it after you get that clearance and confirmation. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. So I guess you're in for the information. This information is about the real state of things and Yeah, so you're a good boy spot. Things are changing in the matrix. Now, I haven't said this in any other video yet, and I will be touching on things in this video that I will not be answering questions on for anyone. Okay? The full answers to these questions and more details about it will be coming out in videos that I have planned in the very, very near future. I'm working on them now. I made the decision to go ahead and put all of this information out because as a source player, you would like to know this information. But unless you're of a high enough frequency, you may be disturbed very much by the information. So this is why I'm telling you and I'm giving you a second chance to turn back now. And wait until you, your source self, gives you the go-ahead to view this video. Now, having said that, we're going to get into the information. Soulless ones have physical bodies. And they are made from your physical body. The harvesting of your eggs and sperm. In the physical realm. Not this matrix that is within the original matrix. This dream state that we are in is a dream state. It is a virtual reality game and we are hooked up to create this reality that we are experiencing. This is an illusion. This is not a real state of being. However, there is a real physical body that is connected to this matrix illusion. And that body is dreaming all of this experience. And it is a co-play game. There are multiple source players and entities and soulless ones that are in this game all playing it together. There are scripts that have been written. And every person and entity has been following their script word for word unless you managed to raise your frequency high enough to escape the matrix and revoke your soul contract. What has happened now is because we are nearing a reset, yes, a reset, a matrix reset, there are things that accompany that matrix reset that are in the script and they will happen. Source won this game from the inside. The game was won. And that is why the souls were released from the Demiurge's bin. That is why all the soul contracts have been revoked. And there was a frequency boost given to the lower frequency and it was removed from the game. 
we were close to losing this entire game. And the reset is coming. I'll be going into what the ramifications of losing the game would have meant uh, in another video. But for now, this has to do with the entities and soulless ones that are in this game right now. They are biologically you, but they have no souls. They are artificial intelligence run computer entities. Since 2012, the artificial intelligence has been turning up the conscious awareness of the soulless ones so that they can experience two emotions, fear and pain, only those emotions. And the reason for that is because there is a harvest coming and the fear and pain are needed to be experienced by the physical bodies that connect to their game here because they need to have fear and pain in their bodies to create a chemical reaction within their bodies that makes them more desirable and pleasing of a product to harvest. Now, I'm sure if you're thinking about this, you're thinking, wait a minute, she said that soulless ones are supposed to experience pain and fear. What's that gonna do to us, the source players? Well, if you don't know what's happening, you're going to be very fearful. And if you're on a lower frequency, you will be very fearful because if you're on a lower frequency and this event happens, then you're going to be right in the middle of it and it's not going to be a pleasant thing. This is one of the reasons that I have really been trying to tell you to raise your frequency, to stop eating the animal meat, flesh, and blood because continuing to do that is going to put you right in the middle of that frequency and you are going to be fearful. Don't be fearful. This is an illusion. This is an illusion. But there are, as above, so below, there are real events happening above to the physical bodies that are being reflected in this 3D virtual reality game illusion that we are experiencing. And the harvest is one of them. The matrix wants you to be in fear. It wants you to be in fear. As a source player, it can draw energy and emotions from you and use them for the matrix as well as other things. Those soulless bodies that are biological extensions of who you are have the same flesh and blood bodies that you have in that physical realm. They are exact representations of you. If it was your sperm and egg that was used to create those bodies, then those bodies are an exact representation of you and so to say an extension of you especially if you have not removed etheric connections from yourself they are highly connected to you this is another reason that you want to remove your etheric connections and like i said the purpose of fear is to create chemical reactions within the bodies and make them of higher value in the commercial sector of the physical realm because the bodies are being harvested and sold and pieced out and different products are being created from those bodies. Very much the way that we do our cattle and livestock within this illusionary realm. We have cattle and livestock and we do the same to them. We cut them up for meat, we use their skins, we use their hoofs, we do all kinds of things. Well, the same thing is happening on the physical realm yes and you're saying well how did i get a physical how did they get my eggs and sperm well your physical act of orgasm in the past allowed them to harvest sperm and eggs from you as well as parts of your soul and your action in this realm gave permission to them on the other plane now you may not think that you gave permission but by simply eating animals meat flesh and blood you are consented to being eaten. Simple as that. You are being consumed. I'll explain how that is in another video, but this is this fact right here. This is why you don't really want to be eaten, the animal meat, flesh, and blood. 
Plus, it keeps you in a lower frequency and it makes you a beast. And a beast has animal instincts. And animal instincts lead to a lot of sex and a lot of orgasm. And that creates more harvesting from the physical bodies on the physical realm. Let me tell you now that the harvesting of sperm and eggs have stopped at this time and your soul can no longer be eaten away since uh, all the fractal souls have been returned. So at this point in time, you are whole and complete. That cannot be taken away from you and you are guaranteed to leave this experience in this lifetime. Whenever you go to sleep, when you die, you will awaken to who you really are and this experience will be a dream, but you will have experienced it. You came into this game to win this game. And I'm going to go into that. You had to be a victor in many other Matrix games before you would even be able to participate in this game. This is the hardest game that was ever created within Source. And it was a very serious game. And you had to have won more than 55% or more than 118 of the other Matrix games to be able to be a participant in this game. This game was created to be the hardest game and you helped create it. If you're in this game, you helped create it and design this game. We all knew before we came in everything about this game before our minds were wiped. We knew, except for the one we did not know what the one would do. And it is the one that did not have a soul contract that managed to win this game and set all of the source players free that had been captured in the, the bin. The end would not have been good, but I will get into that more in another video. You need to verify it for yourself. You need your program pendulum, especially with all of the information that I am going to be sharing with you. You won't hardly be able to believe it. And that's just to believe it. You need to know it. It is that important. Use your programmed pendulum. I've given you the video that shows you how to program your pendulum, how to choose a pendulum. You need to do that. And for those of you who want to know, well, how, how do I know if I'm a source player? Well, if you're asking that question, that question alone means that you are a source player. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you found this life changing, please consider giving a contribution and consider supporting monthly or giving a single gift via PayPal. Links are in the description box below. And be sure to check out these links for guided self-hypnosis meditations.